In this video, I want to tell you how to install Codelops to debugger on Denver web server. Launch the local server. Launch Code Lobster. Open Debugger Settings. Open a local server page in a browser. We need to verify PHP version in PHP info file. Go to the local server page and check PHP build. Version File path Build details Specify necessary parameters of settings. Don't change the port value if any other application doesn't use it. Click Apply to apply specified settings. Click Install Debugger button to install the debugger. Godlobs the Calpes require a DLL file and encodes it into PHP INI. Click OK after installation is done. Open or create a project you are going to work with. Open a file you need to debug. If you want to view project properties, right mouse click on the project name and select Modify in the context menu. Left click on the grey field to mark a line you want to break the bug net. The line is marked by a red circle. Select Debug Home URL in Debug menu or use Shift plus F8 hotkey. Debug starts from a home page of your project. Perform necessary steps to get the breakpoint. When the breakpoint is reached, execution of page is stopped and Codelab stays opened automatically. The current line is marked by a green arrow. In call stack window, we can view all addresses of functions which resulted in execution of the line with the breakpoint. Double click on function address opens a corresponding file and the code line is marked by a blue arrow.
clicking step over in debug menu leads to handle the code in the line and takes to a next line in the same file. This line is marked by a green arrow. Clicking Step Into in Debug menu steps into executing function. If this function is in another file, that file will be opened and the first line of the code function will be marked by a green arrow. If you hover the mouse of a variable, its value will be displayed in a tooltip. All used variables and their values are listed in Locals window. They are designed as a tree view. Left click on plus sign opens a list of variables. Make a right mouse click on a variable name and select Add Watch menu item. In the Watch window, we can view current values of selected variable. Clicking Debug button continues debugging to the next breakpoint, if it exists. You could see that CodeLobster makes it easy to debug PHP scripts.